I've always been kind of painting and drawing since I was a kid. Uh, and I ended up um, going to NC State University because I was from Raleigh and I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I wanted to continue my education. And I wound up in the school design because I love to draw, um, which was around the same time that the school was going digital. So I found myself in a program that I liked, but not really um, using my hands the way that I had kind of always liked to do. I, would, I liked drafting, but all of a sudden we were doing AutoCAD stuff and I'm sitting in front of a computer, which was not really what I wanted to do. So I took a painting class, uh, just kind of as an elective, with a teacher, Lope Max Diaz, who I'd had before, and uh, basically started painting and realized that a lot of the concepts and the things that I was interested in exploring in architecture, I could do through painting of buildings and spaces. So I ended up kind of pushing that and uh, continuing to paint over the years, mostly focusing on urban areas, abandoned spaces, man-made kind of objects and such things, uh, which was very similar to what I had been interested in in architecture in the first place, like site research and how people interact with the world around them. When I was approached uh, for the project for the Arts Everywhere program, uh, initially, what they wanted was a mural, but I've been I've painted several murals. Um, there was not a wall that was available for a mural, so instead we decided to um, erect like a makeshift wall in the quad area that I could paint on, and then students could participate and see the painting happening. Um, and since it was going to be out there, I thought it would be nice to have something uh, that related to the area that the students who were watching the painting happen could see in real life at the same time because like I said a lot of what I do is focus on space and how people use it. Um, so I asked for some archival photographs and I went through and found uh, this image of the dome of the Wilson Library being constructed and I just thought it was really nice because of the scale, you can see the workers, it kind of is an iconic uh, element of the campus and uh, I just thought it would be a nice image that would make the students uh, or any viewer kind of think about the construction of the library and see me building a painting of people building the library it just kind of seemed to, you know to come back around it made good sense uh, and then the day of it was so windy that we had to move inside because there was like 35 mile per hour wind gusts so we ended up painting it inside the library which was equally uh, interesting for me to be painting a building inside the building itself. The dome being kind of an iconic symbol, also domes in general being like having architectural significance historically, um, going all the way back to you know ancient Greece and so um, I have always been interested in construction obviously with a background in architecture I'm also a builder and designer um, so I like the idea of seeing something like that that is people have kind of gotten used to um, when it was still in its early stages. And I also like the human element, that it shows people like, you know, that are at this point have to be long gone, but they were once in this space, they were once using this space the way that we are using it our own way now, but the space is the same, which is the major theme of my work. <laughs> 